Hello, and welcome to CASAS Study and Succeed on Cambridge One, your new home for digital learning. This course will help you prepare for the CASAS Reading and Math Goals Tests. CASAS Study and Succeed has practice exercises for levels A, B, C, and D of reading goals and levels A, B of math. You can use Study and Succeed on a computer, tablet, or a smartphone. This video will help you to start using Study and Succeed. There are different ways to sign up to use Study and Succeed. Ask your teacher how you should sign up. Your school will sign up for you. Some schools will sign students up for a class and give you a username and password. This is the easiest way to start using Study and Succeed, so ask your teacher if the school can do this. If your school has signed up for you, you'll receive an email to join a class. Click Accept and log in using the username and password in the email. Students sign up and activate Study and Succeed. If your school can't sign up for you, you'll need to sign up and use the activation code to start using Study and Succeed. If this is your first time on Cambridge One, you'll need to sign up. Go to cambridgeone.org. Click Sign Up at the top right corner. Choose Learner and click Next. Enter the country you live in. Choose your age. This is to check if you are an adult. Click Next. You can use your Facebook or Google account to log in or register using your email. To sign up using your email, enter your first name, last name, email address, then choose a password. The password must have eight or more characters. You need to include two of the following, uppercase letters, lowercase letters, numbers, or special symbols. Click these boxes. Click Sign Up. If you've used Cambridge One before, go to cambridgeone.org. Click Log In at the top right corner, log in with your Facebook or Google account, or with your email address and password. Now let's use the activation code. Once you've logged in, you'll need an activation code to start using Study and Succeed. An activation code has 16 numbers and letters and looks like this. You can get your activation code from your teacher. Do you have your activation code? Now you need to log in, choose Start Learning, then enter your activation code. Next, you will join your teacher's class. Now, you need to join your teacher's class, but check with your teacher to see if you need the class key. The class key has letters and numbers and looks like this. If you have your class key, choose I'm learning with a class, enter the class key. If you don't have your class key now, you can add it later. To join a class later, log in, click the Add Class button on your dashboard, enter the class key. The hard part is over. Let's start using Study and Succeed. Click on Study and Succeed. You'll see reading and math tests and different levels to choose from. Be sure to ask your teacher which test and level you need to practice. 
When you click on a test, you'll see different kinds of videos and questions you can practice. Again, talk to your teacher to find out what you need to practice. Your teacher may assign homework to you. To see your assignments, go to cambridgeone.org, sign in, click My Assignments. You will see a list with due dates and your progress. Click the arrow to choose the exercise. Click on each activity to see, complete, and submit them to your teacher. You can check your grades in Study and Succeed. From the home screen, click My Progress. You can check how many exercises you've completed, the number of exercises that were above the target score, the number of exercises below the target score, average score for all the activities you've completed, and the time you've spent using Study and Succeed. Click on the arrow on the right to see how you did. Click on a test to see your average score for each lesson. Then click on a competency to see your scores for the individual exercises. You can see your first score, best score, and number of attempts. We hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of CASIS Study and Succeed on Cambridge One. Now you're ready to start practicing.